Welcome to the Cox3.com post-game show here from Anaheim. We're at Honda Center after the Anaheim Ducks High School Hockey League Varsity Division Championship Games. Hi, everybody. I'm Eric Pesolano alongside Chuck Lasick. And it was a great night of action here from Honda Center. We saw Villa Park steal a huge game away from Capistrano United in the Division II title. And then after that, we saw Orange Lutheran take the double after winning the state championship earlier in the week. They beat Santa Margarita here in the Division I title game. Let's take you through the highlights here on this evening at Honda Center. Villa Park took on Capistrano United, the two versus one matchup. You see Villa Park, they got off to an early start, able to beat the goaltender, Kern Allison, and Coyotes came back. It was really back and forth. Taylor Urch was huge in the game here for Villa Park, and you see Max Camper there, able to fire one by Anders Holtgren. We'll have more from Holtgren in a little bit, but then uh, more of the same from Villa Park as they were able uh, to get themselves on the board, and it was just back and forth from there on out, Joe. No, it was basically at the end of the first period, you were wondering if the last one was going to have the puck was going to be the last one to win. But after the first period, things started to calm down a little bit. And one of the more surprising things of this game was that Capital United was shut down in that second period, not only the second period, but the third period as well. Yeah, you see Anders Holgren there stopped 24 of 27 in the game. Kyle Mayhew, we love Kyle Mayhew. He had a great night, three assists in the game. On the other side of Capistrano United, Max Camper doing more of the same. He and Nico Grillman were on the board. Camper twice, Grillman once, but it was all about the Spartans on this night. They won it 5-3, to three. and after the game, Bob Gibson caught up with Anders Holgren, the game-winning goaltender. Thanks a lot, guys. Hey, congratulations. You stood on your head here this afternoon tonight. Uh, what does it feel like to be the champions? It's amazing. The boys played great. The crowd was absolutely incredible. We had so much school support out here, and it's just an unreal feeling. What made the difference tonight? Because this is a Capo team that's put a lot of goals in net behind you guys in previous times. What, what did you guys come out here set to do defensively to, to not let that happen here tonight? Well, our whole team had to put in the effort. Everybody gave it 110% every shift, and I really think that's what led to our success. Is this really the type of game where you just leave it all on the ice and you guys did that here tonight? Yeah, especially the seniors. We left it all on the ice, and it came through in the end. Talk, talk about your defense in front of you. What, what were they doing to limit the opportunities that the Coyotes got here tonight? They were blocking the shots in front of me. They got out of my way. They stopped them on the back door. It's a great feeling. And, and is the confidence really built throughout that? Yeah, definitely. All right, congratulations. Go back and celebrate with your team. Congratulations, Anders. Okay, back upstairs to you guys. All right, there's Anders. You heard Anders Holkern talking about his defense in front of him there, Chuck, and they really did come up big, but in the end, it was all about Anders. Uh, Anders Holkern was absolutely outstanding. 24 saves out of 27 shots, and more importantly, like I mentioned before, just stymied the Capo Coyotes in the second and third period. Basically, he was a brick wall. I think he had 17 saves, 18 saves in a row after those three goals in the first period. Just absolutely outstanding job by not only Holkren, but his defense as well. We saw an upset in the first game with Villa Park getting the win in the second game. You could call it an upset, maybe because Santa Margarita plays here a lot. When Orange Lutheran came in here as the number one seed, things were certainly coming around to a changing of the guard uh, in Division I as Orange Lutheran came away with a 1-0 victory. Let's take a look at the highlights in the Division I game that just wrapped up just a little bit ago. And really, not a whole lot of scoring. It was all about the goaltending, even though Jacob Furry had what essentially turned out to be the game-winning goal in the second period. The story was all about number 32. You call him A-squared. Everyone else knows him as Austin Alarcon. Austin Alarcon, is, otherwise known as A-squared, was absolutely outstanding. I believe he had 34 saves, 33 saves overall. He was the brick wall in between the pipes tonight for Orange Lutheran and is the sole reason why Orange Lutheran is now the Anaheim Ducks High School Hockey League's champions. The night was all about shutouts uh, for Alarcon. You see right there, he stopped all 33 shots he faced. On the other side, Dylan Gluck wasn't bad either. He only saw 13 come his way, but he did turn away 12. And it was just a bounce out front that Furry was able to bury to give the Lancers the win. They win the state championship. They come back. They win the Division I championship here at Honda Center on this evening. So it was a great night all around. Uh, this was the seventh year of the league, and it came up. Uh, with a bunch of shutouts and a bunch of great victories here tonight at all three levels. Capistrano United even won the uh, uh, JV championship. But after that uh, Orange Lutheran game, Austin Alarcon was able to stop for a moment to talk to Bob Gibson. All right, thanks, guys. Austin, congratulations. How does it feel to be the champions here tonight? Uh, I just hope we can keep doing it. I mean, this was just a small step towards Nationals. That's our main goal right now is Nationals. I mean, this feels good beating SM. I mean, we've got a little rivalry going back and forth. But uh, really, we're just looking forward to Nationals. We want a national title. 
What did the coaching staff talk to you guys about, especially on the defensive side, about limiting the opportunities that San Mar Mar Margarita would get tonight? I mean, uh, you saw it yourself. Uh, they have just unreal offense just across the board. They've got Solani, they've got on the back end, they've got Rosenbaum. So really, we just wanted to try and keep it all to the outside. Try to, if I, let me see the puck. And I mean, my guys did that for me tonight. So just try and keep it as, as easy for me as possible. Did you feel like you were just getting stronger as the game went on? Uh, I, I can say I definitely thrive off from the action. I mean, when it's one, two shots a period, it can definitely, it's hard to stay in it. But uh, I feel like as I kept staying in it, kept going, uh, it just kept getting easier and easier. Congratulations. Go back with your teammates and continue the celebration. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Goaltenders certainly love to talk about their defense, don't they? Alarcon said all the right words there in that interview. No, Alarcon's defense was absolutely superb, as well as Alarcon was. I mean, he stopped them from far, from short. He stopped the tips. He stopped the turnaround surprise shot that we're used to seeing from Solani. Just did an absolutely outstanding job. And as I mentioned before, the sole reason why Orange Lutheran's walking around with this championship. So that's going to do it for a great night from Honda Center. We saw Capistrano United win the JV title. We saw Villa Park upset Capistrano United in the Division II title. And then we saw Orange Lutheran come away with a huge shutout win over Santa Margarita in the Division I championship game. That's it from Anaheim. For everybody on the Cox 3 crew and Bob Gibson, my partner Chuck Lasik, I'm Eric Pesolano saying so long. And this has been the Cox3.com postgame show.